A wearable head-mounted display sounds like science fiction. But then who'd have thought that we'd all end up peering at mobile phones for hours? That's why tech companies are trying to invent the next step, so people can just take in a text or some directions without looking down all the time. Head-up displays already exist for military pilots. Information they need to see is projected onto a transparent visor. They take it in along with the view in front of them. Wearable displays for civilians have been tried. Those virtual reality headsets that gamers use are one example, but they illustrate the current challenge. They've got to be enclosed because an illuminated screen can't compete with daylight. Now, if it's going to be something that somebody is going to use going about their business, it would have to be much more like some kind of pair of glasses with a little tiny display in the side that can project information onto the inside of the lenses. But currently, that would require a battery that's just too big to clamp to your head. Plessy Semiconductors of Plymouth think they have a solution that's globally unique. They're experts at making tiny LEDs with very high brightness. These could comfortably power whatever type of smart glasses ordinary people end up using. The technology that uh, Plessy have, that is truly a groundbreaking uh, capability. I mean, it's massive. I mean, you're talking about an industry that's projected to grow to uh, billions in a relatively short period of time. Other companies are watching with interest. Artemis Optical makes specialist coatings used in all kinds of head-up displays. They could collaborate with Plessy. People will want this type of technology, but it needs to be something that they can put on, they can wear comfortably, uh, and they can use it all day perhaps. So it needs to be lightweight, it needs to be energy efficient. That's the type of thing that Plessy are producing. Plessy say they've never seen manufacturers staking such big sums on any prospective new technology as is happening right now with different possible types of wearable display. This phase is known as the hype cycle. Some will turn out to be just hype, but others could make billions. There's huge numbers of players and a huge amount of money, billions and billions being spent to develop those end applications because nobody knows where it'll go. And in that beginning, that initial churn, while there's a lot of bets being placed and all the money's being put on the table, um, is, is the hype cycle. And we are in, in my career of uh, 25 years in electronics, I've never seen a hype cycle like this before. Plessy are hoping to sell their micro-LED technology to the world's biggest names in consumer electronics. The displays that power the next generation of smart glasses might be made in Plymouth, but the glasses themselves could be made on the other side of the world.